Welcome back, guys, to Octopath Traveler 2, where last episode we canvassed the city of New Delstal with Path Actions, finding Side Story a gambling man and resolving it by finding out that the gaming parlor was fixing their games to lure in people to drain of money. We also dealt with the bourgeois boy by bringing his father over to scold him as we now leave the city to head towards the next Chapter 2. Let's quickly warp here. Because we had a quest here as well, right? Which I kind of moved on quickly to do the new Delster thing. But I did check out a lot of people. I wonder how I can get close to them. I want to know more about beast things and be their friend, but how? So yeah, this kid had a quest to... Wanting to get to know beastlings better. So I'm going to steal his bread and his healing... Well, no, just do your bread. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to talk to beastlings, maybe, about this. Probably not old men like this guy, though. That doesn't make sense. We cut his great axe. Little girl. Giving amulet. From me to who? Not sure, but imagine. Sounds nice. Giving amulet. Making friends. Wanting, wanting. 55%. Oh, uh, I need... Where's it in? I think the guy up there has a quest for food. We need some kind of food thing. It was tingly meat, wasn't it? Okay, I'm going to change for... Particio? Well, no, change for both Agnea and Particio. More quests we complete, the better, right? We'll start our session. We'll start our week with... Quest, quest, quest. Right, about, like, obtaining your items. I can buy it for 300. And I can just straight up have it. There we go. <laughs> alright. Giving him... Okay, he said something like, alright. Not giving it adults by the look of things, but... Hey, hey, hey. Agnea came by and just... Yoinks items. Oh, dispatches from Beasting Island? Yeah, sure. I'll have that. Level 20 to get that, too. That's a quest item. Who knows when I'll actually be able to use it, you know? A nameless sword? Sure. Three swords. Shadow Souls on M. We need large ones though, don't we? For the stained glass window. I'll take your grapes. That's a sure it's pretty to watch. You can have this. I'll take good care of this. No problem, kiddo. What if I can get closer to them? I want to know more about beastlings and be their friend, but how? With an amulet of affection, by the look of it. What's this? An amulet. It looks pretty old. Wait, I've heard of this. When beastlings want to make friends with someone, they give them an amulet. All right, I'm going to go introduce myself. Without telling any grown-ups, obviously. Hey, thanks for the amulet. Critical nut and a resistant nut were obtained. So ends the tale of building bridges. We got the job done. Life is good. And they're here. Just hanging out. Hey, friend. Happy, happy, smiling, jumping. I'll play it for every day now. Maybe I'll invite some other friends next time. Another quest complete. Not a problem. All right, let's change back our party. Because I think now it is time indeed to move on. Get some jerky here. To our next chapter. An empowering earring obtained. <laughs> Bringing Agnea places just because she's high level. <laughs> Makes so much sense, doesn't it? You get items aplenty. All for free, without percentage chances of failing. It's beautiful. I'll have that shield, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Give me your items too. A feathered hat, level 23. Wait, I'm not level 23 yet. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> also, no, it is grayed out. It's just because my thing was over it. <laughs> so that's three quests complete. Most of New Delster checked out. We'll check more out in time. 
So let's get Temenos back in the party. And Oshet too. We are going to start our next chapter two. Well, one of many, because there's more than seven to do. Frone, Mother's Root, it's, it's, it, it's just in Orzrash. She went to Orzrash. I guess there are people wanting jobs here, isn't it? That's right, I have business here. Indeed I do. Frone embarks on a journey to win her freedom from the Black Snakes. In order to remove her collar, she must kill both of her parents and take their keys. She heads to Orzrash to learn more about Mother's whereabouts. So she doesn't know where Mother is yet. She's just trying to figure things out. When Mother is looking for new recruits, she goes to the saddlery in Orsrush. It's common knowledge in the nest, though no one really knows why. And it's the only clue I have. Now, to find that saddlery. That way. You can barely see, but there's a kid there wearing a creepy mask. <laughs> what the hell? You could see the masked head just over my head, but that was weird. Well, I could try to steal some stuff from people here. Long spear wouldn't be bad, but that is a thing I can do. Oh, my resistance, nice, three percent. This here's town. This your town's my home. I'll do my best to protect it until the end of my days. That's the wrong accent. It's bad. what? What are you doing, Seth? That's like so wrong. The accent you can ever do. Oh my god! I can steal their silver coins. The ones that they wouldn't trade for anything. Oops. Oh, to be honest, wasn't Joe's one a? Uh, was that Nikki's one that was fake? Oops. I've already said yes to stealing it. I was wondering what the saddlery was about, why it was a place. Now we know. Thank you for your patronage. I shall prepare the goods post haste. In the meantime, please wait at the tavern. Might I help you find something? We have an array of goods made of cloth and leather and even others with chains. I'm not here for horse gear. But, milady, this is a saddlery. Is that so? What did that man purchase just now? He didn't seem to have a horse with him. Hmm. You have a keen eye, milady. Alas, that man did, in fact, bring a horse. I saw it with my own eyes. I would not be able to craft the proper gear otherwise. Did he now? Please, come again. It's a front. <laughs> As I suspected, it isn't a saddlery at all. As for this horse, it must be what I need for the exchange. Which means that man from before has one without a doubt. I suppose it's time to see a man about a horse. Just like fur coat shops in Crete. If you know, you know. Press thing to hear travel banter? Oh, not voice. Hey, what's this scent? Those to have you. It's my perfume. It has a very bewitching scent. It suits you. Thank you. Would you like some? Huh, thanks, but I don't use perfume. I need my notes for when I concoct medicines, and there are patients who are sensitive to smells too. I see. I usually don't wear perfume either. It complicates work sometimes. But today I needed a little pick-me-up. I can tell your job is very important to you. Best of luck, Frone. Thank you, Casty. A little bit of interaction between our guys. It's no longer the plus button, it's the menu button, I think it's called. On the PlayStation 5. 
It's the bar with three lines on it. Yeah, yeah. We're getting some little bits here. Tip bits. There is supposedly a horse here. But mostly nothing really has actually changed. In town though the chapter's taking place. So everything else is stolen from, inquired from. This young boy hasn't been stolen from. Told you. What a silver filled that. pouch. I want that more than the candy. Anything I can steal from these guys? Oh, silver coin. Oh no, I'm stealing all the silver coins. I'll take that. Oh. My klepto powers are irresistible. My god. Oh, I can steal a horse coin. A small coin with a carving of a horse on it. Relief of a horse. This is what he meant. I better make my way back to the saddlery. Never even spoke to the guy. Yeah, hey, come here to play, have you? I stole your coin. You didn't even notice. You're not very good at this. I did see a man about a horse. A horse coin. Back again, I see. Saddle up. I've brought my horse with me this time. Huh. So you have. Which means I can finally treat you like a customer. <laughs> you sure don't make things easy for your clients. Aye. For mine is a very exclusive business. Now... What are you after? Mother of the Black Snakes. She's one of my best customers. Your request is beyond my power. Well then. Good thing it's not a request. Mother is meeting a man I introduced her to. They call him the Slaver. He runs the slave trade and is doing business in the town's old foundry right now. I see. To reach him, you must know these words. Drink from the cup in your left hand. Remember them well. Thank you. Be prepared. I doubt his lips will be as loose as mine. Lives may be lost before he is willing to talk. A small price to pay. I don't want to be drinking from any cups around dome thieves and stuff. <laughs> Thank you very much. I would quite like to avoid any cup-based drinking. Or any drinking. Or any eating. But I don't know when there might be poison in something. Have I labored this point enough to you? <laughs> Drink from the cup in your left hand, eh? See if my memory manages to store that correctly. May as well get my full set of silver coins now, right? Speaking of... Hey, Nikki, yours is not even real. I'll take that. Well, no one's allowed silver coins in these parts. Ah, it moved on to the highest skip function. Whoops. Quite the foundry, though. I'm still being followed. They've been trailing me since I arrived. I'd better get rid of them. Seems I've got to watch how I put my controller on my leg. Just a little bit. Is that a conversation log? Unfortunately, seemingly not. Ooh. Well... I'll make sure not to move my controller around too much during scenes, but I 
saw it instantly and was just like, something's not right there. And that was indeed the case. You only missed a dot dot dot. Oh, that's the... And I caught it in the midst of time. There must be something else I need to do. I should check the area. I kind of thought I did, but obviously it's uh, down in this back alley, isn't it? Where are you going, kiddo? Amateur. Who are you and why are you following me? I'll find out whether you like it or not. Am I gonna knock this kid out? Steal the mask off the boy's face. <laughs> Can I talk to him first? I'm through playing games. That face. Was that my imagination? Not that it matters. I have to focus. I must find that slaver. It's more the hair, isn't it, when you're thinking about a 2D HD character? Well, we are moving onwards. Maybe I should try to steal from this guy first. Raise your head with your right hand. Drink from the cup in your left hand. You may pass. <sighs> Black begins. Choose a cup. Your turn. Light. Drink. Now. Mm -hmm. <coughs> 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 How do you like that? Oh, looks like someone owes me 80,000 leaves. Damn it. I can't believe I lost. All right. Who's next? Bring him in. It looks like they're gambling. You're first. Choose a cup. Uh, no. I don't want to! <laughs> no fun at all, that one. No wonder I couldn't find a buyer for him. No one knows which cup the poison's in. That's what makes it fun, right? I haven't seen you here before. You're the slaver, I presume? I am a buyer and seller of slaves. So, what sort of merchandise are you looking to buy, young lady? A woman named Mother of the Black Snakes. A dangerous customer you are. Perhaps this is the day my luck runs dry. <laughs> is she here or not? You're too late. She already left. I can't tell you where she's gone. Without the proper compensation, that is. You carry a delectable scent. It's the smell of shore flowers. Do you like it? 
It isn't the flowers I'm interested in, but the smell of sweat beneath them. Even the most disciplined are exposed by their own scent. Humans are overcome with fear before their demise, and their sweat wreaks something awful. But your scent is still sweet. There's no fear in you. Interesting, but what does that mean for me? I will tell you where Mother went, if you can best me. A man after my own heart. No, I don't stand a chance in a fight. We will do battle here. At death's table. Like, no? <laughs> like, just no. <laughs> Why would I do that? Oh my god, there's six cups, and it's like Russian roulette with poison. Like, uh, <laughs> I mean, of course I've got saves and respawns, right? Still. Um, oh man, this guy's sick anyway. Like, he has slaves and he's literally playing, making them, forcing them to do that. Is there anyone here I can get information from? I heard they put on an interesting show here, but I wasn't expecting this. Are you just okay with the people dying? Who on the table is our boss? Oh, I hate cleaning, Judy. Well, I guess these corpses won't remove themselves. Telling me. Okay, I can leave and save again after the cutscene. <laughs> Handy save point right here, right now. Who'd have guessed? Can't even steal from you. Ready to sit at death's table? <laughs> no! <laughs> Feel like you've made your peace. Let's begin. This is the level seven, okay. You saw the game before, didn't you? Are you afraid? No, I will gladly accept your challenge. Of these six cups, one is filled with poison. We will take turns drinking. The one who drinks the poison loses. Are there any other rules? If you try to run, you die. That's all there is to it. The slavers never lost a game. She doesn't stand a chance. I will begin. <laughs> it appears my cup was safe. Now it's your turn, young lady. The poison is lethal. Drinking it means certain death. But not a merciful or swift death, no. Release will come only after what feels like an eternity of agony and excruciating pain. That's fine with me. It will give you time to tell me where Mother went before you perish. Ha <laughs> ha. Your false courage won't spare you from the pain. Well, well. It looks like my cup was safe, too. <laughs> but my compliments on the liquor. In fact, I think I'll have another. Ah, <sighs> exquisite. Oh. What's with this woman? This is the first time I've ever seen someone down two in a row. There was no rule saying I could only have one, was there? Ha <laughs> ha, I see. So you're a snake. Just like me. Is that so? I know the stench of imminent death better than most. And yours will reach my nose before long. <sighs> there are two left. It's your turn. I 
I do not fear death. I could even accept dying here. The only thing I fear is giving up on what I want. Oh, no, I don't want to choose. I mean, you hold finger to the right and then you drink from the left. I'm assuming that that is the, you know, the way that I'm supposed to do things to therefore, like, get in. But that might also be the trick. <laughs> Do you think the right is right, or do you think left is the bet? I don't know. I, ah! I was like, oh, it's, it's all through cutscene. This is going completely fine. I'm not going to die. And then, like, oh, my goodness. 50-50. Well, um... <laughs> okay, then I think I'll choose right. Uh, there's this weird, weird hint that's... Uh, I, I can't quite tell why I gonna choose right over left it's oh, I, I can't quite tell I, i'm not sure i i have this weird feeling now that the right is right and that left would leave me left for dead i just mm. which is why i'm willing to bet everything on my dream thanks for the drinks I can detect even the faintest scent of poison. I always dodge the tainted glass, leaving it for my opponent. Then couldn't you have won? Ha! I wanted to test you, but it looks like my curiosity got the better of me. You have bested me. Drank the last glass, but that means I will tell you where Mother went, as promised. She hides in Wellgrove, in a place called Mother's Garden. It's officially an orphanage and has the support of a local monastery. But it's where she raises her hatchlings for the nest. <sighs> you could probably sneak in as a nun. Farewell. The war of snakes repeats itself over and over again. I couldn't cut myself loose either. The former head wouldn't let me. The former head? She was a good woman, too. But she was killed by mother. I hope you find what you seek. Thank you. You're the one from before. I know your face. Throne. Let's go. It's time for Mother's punishment. Hero. He looks just like Piro when he was little. I feel like we've met before. So do I. I felt like you're someone important. That's why I followed you. Would your father happen to be named Piro? I don't know who my father is. Neither do I. Perhaps we have some things in common. Goodbye. Rone discovers Mother's location. Along the way, she wages her life in a game against the slaver. 
and meets a young boy with a familiar face. The solitary thief draws nearer to the truth of the black snakes. Rone continues her journey, awaiting the day she will walk free. So ends Mother's Root of Rone the Thief, Chapter 2. Short, sweet, no dungeons, no leveling, which is kind of what I was expecting to be doing. But we got some travel banner. A man had a pretty good nose. It's rare for humans to have such a keen sense of smell. Perhaps he was punished for abusing his good senses. You know, I kind of understand what he was saying. You have a unique scent. How can I explain it? It's sweet and sultry, I guess. Thank you. Is my scent really that strong? I feel like the non-voice dialogue text bubbles go really fast. It was only cutscenes, but this is one of the things that obviously I kind of expected somewhere around that things because if you've got multiple chapter twos, then on length they kind of have to like even out, don't they, to uh, the aggregate to go alongside the other chapter twos that are there, which means that Temenos is, is our next chapter two. So we didn't gain any skills, any abilities really from that, which is a shame, I guess. <laughs> we'll be able to build ourselves up on some further things in the future, for sure. Temonos' next chapter is level 14, which means we'll be starting below the level, but we have Casty around to kind of like build us up, boy us, keep us alive, and all that. So it's going to be not too bad. No matter what. Can I steal from Gif? Oh, I already have stolen Gifts. Gif's already given me his things. Just wondering if I need more herbs of various types. Where can I buy spready herbs? That's what I really want. I mean, having some more data lines isn't that bad. I've got 50,000 in cash, for goodness sake. I should want to buy actually another 10 of these. Well, I definitely need to buy some more stuff here, there, and everywhere. So, where is Temenos's? Next chapter. It is actually back at Canal Brine yet again. So at this point, while I would like to level up, our next chapter, or chapter 3 from Mother's Root next, is level 31. And it's all the way out there. I mean, this level here is 20. I know going that way is 20. I'm assuming walking down this pathway towards a Chet's chapter and whatnot would be... Uh, a nice leveling route going down from here, to be perfectly honest. But then I can't fast travel to there in the first place. I guess we start it at a low level and uh, we hope to build our level up from the level. Let's go Canal Brown again. Yeah, there's uh, a lot going on. So that's got Frone's chapter, like, sorted. Actually, a travel banner section. There's actually more travel banner. The characters that's not in my party, by the look of it. There was four banters. We got two from our party members. We got Don't Stand Behind Me and The Connor 2. It's interesting to see, like... I was going to go on here because it's just interesting to see how much of a bar or how much of a stained glass window this fills up. Because, of course, I was looking through here, like, at what quests I had from last session. Like, which ones could I feasibly possibly do? Because we've got Wildlands, we've got two done there, and that's quite a bit of a far bar. But two done there is less of a bar for the Leaflands than it is the Wildlands. But these are quite pretty to look at, to be honest. They've all got their own individual design. I quite like that. But it seems like there's actually something else to get from that. Uh, where is uh, Frone again? There was more. You can just hear it whenever you want. Rone, Ikari, please don't stand behind me. My apologies. Might ask why. In my line of work, we must always watch our backs. It's quite straining on the nerves. If you're not careful, I could end up attacking you. I see. I should take your words to heart. Ah, you ought to watch your back too, Ikari. That won't be necessary with trustworthy friends by me. If you would put your trust in me, you would have no need to worry either. Very well then. Consider yourself trusted. That's cool of these here, because I wanted to, like, space things out a little bit more episode-wise. <laughs> the collar. Say, why don't you just break that collar around your neck? If that were possible, I would have done it long ago. But trying to force it off will cause poison to seep out and kill me. Ooh, he has some heavy stuff. 
But every product's got its use. So, uh, but would you mind letting me have a closer look? If you're so interested, why not purchase it? I would if it weren't attached to your neck. <laughs> a fair point. They just have a little bit of conversation dialogue, but that actually led to I mean, us finding out what the color actually does if it's smooth. It isn't a battle royale, blow your head off, your neck, stump. Spurty, spurty, <laughs> all around the place, if you know what I mean. It's a poison color. Yeah, it's just quite interesting, because Patricio like, seems like his bar is more full up than some. And then Oshet's really low. Oh, well, it's not that low. They all seem to be, like, relatively the same. Oswalds, yeah, they seem to actually carry the same pace when I look at it. Maybe Partitio's a little bit more with all that gold at the bottom. That's quite a little pre inventory. It's quite a nice to look at. Anyway, uh, what do I do from here? Oh, yeah, I have to go to an inn, don't I? I don't have anything for that guy over there. Let's begin with one character at level 19, 111, 19, 17. That'll be fine. It's a level 14 story after all. 